Hey friends, this is the Miss Evolvi from our Half Acre Homestead, and yes, I'm going on another rant, but why bother? We don't get listened to anyway. <sighs> FDA has won the uh, has approved genetically modified apples and potatoes. Potatoes that won't bruise is easy. I've never seen a potato bruise in my life. And apples that won't brown after they've been sliced. What the hell is lemon juice for then? We don't need, I don't care if your child wants apple slices in its lunch that don't go brown. Dip them in, in lemon juice. Spray a little bit of lemon juice on them in a squirt bottle. But we don't need to genetically modify our fruit so that it doesn't brown after slicing. That's just redonkulous. <sighs> My point is, folks, whether we can march until the sun stops shining forever and they're just going to go ahead and do what the hell they want. Hillary Clinton's going to be the next president. Why? Because she's being chosen. Period. They're going to continue to genetically modify things that flower, which is really stupid because cross-pollination, cross-pollination is going to happen. Okay, then they're going to start suing Popeye's Orchard down the bloody road because his apples are going to test positive for the genetically modified DNA. Of course it is. This has gone on way, way too long. I'm going to post a link for the article in the description box below this video. Please read it. We don't need potatoes that, that don't bruise and we don't need apples that don't brown when they're sliced. Because guess what? Nature designed them that way for a reason. And guess what? It's not nice to fool with Mother Nature. Take care. Bye-bye.